Now, you do get interviewed uh, from time to time. And I notice that you get asked the same questions a lot. All the time. So I just wanted to go through a few of them. When you get asked about uh, <laughs> past shootings you became a victim of, uh, uh, are you tired of those questions, shooting questions? I mean... Getting if, shot if, questions. If, 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 if not like that, for example, you DJ Smalls, if that will make you feel like that's what's going to break your shit off, keep asking because you need to ask that. But if you bracket and you you, DJ Smalls, you don't ask that. You ask some other shit, and they follow your lead. I do have a question when it comes to shooting, and I don't know if you've been asked this or not, okay? And if you have, I apologize. You could tell me. But uh, how many times at this point have you been shot in your whole entire life? <laughs> Like I was telling my, like I was telling my manager, man, and uh, KP, that part, hold up. Hey, look, I got t I got shot on two different occasions. And how many bullets? The total? first time it was two. Now it was the last time, which is nine. And you heard me. I said the last time. I ain't getting shot no more. I'm knocking on wood. I'm not playing. I'm smarter now. It was nine, and it was two. So my thin ass pyro, I took 11 for no reason or whatever reason. Yeah, because I was out there bleeding these niggas. And shit, my, yeah, my karma, my, my come around, my come around. But I'm still here though. So yeah, two times, 11 bullets. For someone watching that's never been shot before, what does that actually feel like? Like when the shit first happened and shit? Yeah, when you, you actually, when the bullet you penetrates think, you. You don't, think you, you, don't, you don't even think you shot. It's like you ain't really feeling it. And then it's gonna be that little moment till your body start getting hot. And then you start looking like, damn, what the fuck is that? And shit. It's like, that shit happens so fast, you don't feel it. Then, you're going to sit your ass down or fall out, whatever you're going to do, and start feeling it. So when I was in my car the first time, I was in the Caprice, you see what I'm saying, going up the freeway, entering, bam. And the nigga starts wetting me up on my driver's side. I'm with my big homie, d -Dum. And um, they smacked me out of all them bullets. And they shot like 18 times that first time. I got hit twice, and my big homie got hit with this bullet. So when the car came on this side, the, they, they was going up, but they was shooting like this. And I'm, I'm watching 50 Cent, little mama, show me how you do it. I had the TV in the car, like bracket, I heard and I tried to get down. It's late. So I had this right here, it hit me, boom, that's late, right? Now I like, now this right here, that was the two. Ever since then, shit, you gotta be aware. Turn your radio now. Stop watching movies. Stop watching the ass. <laughs> Be alert. Sure is. Also, when it actually happens to you, like in, like in movies and even on the gun range, right? When a gun gets shot, you see that, I guess that, that gun blast, that yellow, that color. Yeah, the fire. Know, yeah, the, fire. The, the fire. When you actually have been shot before, do you actually see that fire? when the shots happen to you or? Yeah, you seeing it. You see it. That motherfucker, that gun work. That motherfucker bracking, pat, pat, pat. And on the side looking at you, that motherfucker firing. Poof, poof. Like, you don't think it's firing. You don't see like the flame is sitting. You don't think it, but like that motherfucker hitting you. And that motherfucker flamed. So, <clears throat> shit, a gun's a gun, right? What caliber you got? <clears throat> now. You mentioned you don't feel it at first, but then there's a point when things settle in and mm -hmm. you do quote unquote yeah, feel maybe 15 it. 15 seconds, 30 seconds later, it's like, woo. When you actually do feel it, quote unquote, as you mentioned, is now it. Now your, your body, you in attack. It's like, if you would have never thought about it, you probably could have kept bracking. You probably could have kept running or doing whatever you was doing. But the moment you think about it, that's when your mind kind of loses it. In. Now you fall back in. Now you die. Now this, now that. It just, if that shit wouldn't have got hot, I would have kept running. 
You feel me? You mentioned this hot feeling. Is there also a pain associated with that? Hell yeah. Or is it more so just a hot feeling at first? No, I mean, you're going through the hot feeling, then you get to the hospital. <laughs> yeah. And when they tape you up, get you right, you still feeling that feeling. It ain't hot no more. It's the feeling. And you always feel that feeling. Shit ain't going nowhere. In these two instances, did you have what they call a near-death experience at all? A who? A near-death experience. Hell yeah. Hey, look, you gotta think. My doctor, he told me he woke me up three times. That mean he brought me back three times. So I was dead. And he just kept beating my heart or pumping my chest or whatever he was doing on me. He did that three different times. And when I woke up, I'm like, Damn, who who is y'all? What's where I'm at? Remind you, I just I just left the block. Now I'm in a whole nother. And when I wake up, I'm right here. And the doctor was like, "Hey, bro, you know I saved your life three times. So I know now I'm on 400. I'm on the fourth life now, and I can't play. P10." When this, uh, when this uh, bring you back to life three times, was that the uh, time you got shot with two bullets or was that the time you got no, shot with the last nine? time. The nine. Yeah. So let me give you this definition here and you tell me what your experience was. Okay, according to Google, when you search for near-death experience, definition from Oxford languages, it says an unusual experience taking place on the brink of death and recounted by a person after recovery, typically an out-of-body experience or a vision of a tunnel of light. Did you experience that, an outer body experience, a tunnel of light? So the tunnel was this, it was dark. And I was just kind of reminiscing with my homies. You feel me? Like basically, like I said, I'm dead. So I'm going through that tunnel and if I'm about to make it home or I'm about to survive, I'm still going through that tunnel. I seen homies from back in the day, me and them drinking, chilling, we bracking off, we just bracking. That was the tunnel I went through. And it was a black light. It was a, it was a, a, a shit, a dark cloud. But I overcame that shit, you feel what I'm saying? So yeah, you, you see that shit when you go through them bullets and, and whatever the case may be, you feel what I'm saying? Now Slim, you do have a sarcastic personality. You could be very, you know, uh, joking about certain things. Yeah. This is true? Uh huh. This tunnel, you kicking it with the Hell homies. Yeah. It, this is what really happened to you. Hell yeah. And I like how you said that because everybody take me for a joke or something. But I tell things at the time. It's like that is my character because I'm a bull ass nigga, and I just I'm just open. I'm be on some of this cool shit. But they take your coolness for weakness. Now when you got to get in the character and get the on these niggas and. It's like, oh, you tripping, you tripping, you tripping. No, it just, that's my real character. I'm trying to give you niggas another character, but you niggas take me for a joke of that one. So what y'all niggas want?